Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. Here's where we left off in the last lesson. We'd completed the seconds counter function. And if I come to the last two lines here, as you know, once the counter hits 60, we then call the minutes counter function. So we're calling this function only once every 60 seconds. So in order to increase the minutes, we can just say minutes and then we want plus plus and close the line off. And all we're doing is increasing the counter. So it will start off at zero and we'll obviously calls it once every 60 seconds so this code is only being read once every 60 seconds and then we just increase the counter and it will just increase by one so we'll just say in the comments increase minutes counter and we'll come below here and we'll say if open brackets underscore and we'll say minutes double equals 60 we'll close brackets we'll open and close and we'll get this into the comments so we'll say if minutes counter and we'll say equals 60 and we'll come inside the function there then we do the same thing only this time rather than calling the minutes counter once we just call the hours counter we'll open and close we'll close the line off and we'll come into the comments and we'll just say we'll say call hours counter function and we'll come to the next line underscore minutes and we'll just set that back to zero so equals zero close the line off into the comments and we'll say and then yeah let's say make minutes equal zero and I think this is pretty self-explanatory, but as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them for you. But uh, this is all the code we need for the minutes counter function. And I'll tell you what we'll, we'll, we'll do. We'll copy everything in this block apart from the debug log and we'll just paste that into the hours counter and we'll just swap out the variables so underscore hours there where we increased the counter and I'll just copy and paste here and here okay let's go through and change the comments so for the counter we'll just change this to hours we'll bring the comments back into line now here obviously we need to change it from 60 to 24 and we'll change the comments here so if hours counter equals and we'll change the comments here to 24 then we can call and it's we'll have to actually create another function so let's come here we'll say void and we'll say day yeah just we'll just say day counter open and close brackets we'll open and close and then we'll call this function here we'll tidy up the comments so call day counter function and again we can have hours equals zero and we'll just change it here so again we just call in the hours counter every once every 60 minutes we increase the counter 
Um, when the hours equals 24, we call the day count function this new void here, and then we just reset the hours back to zero. And we'll come inside this new void now, day counter, and we'll just copy and paste the debug log in. And in fact, I'm going to change this. I'm going to call it days. I'm going to make it plural. So there we go. We'll just add an S both here and here. And then we'll copy and paste the naming convention into the debug log. And I'm sure you've guessed what we're going to do. We're going to copy this line of code where we increase the counter. We'll paste it into days and we'll come up so we've created a variable for days and we'll use that variable now so underscore days plus plus close the line off and increase days counter and let's just save that there so we're getting our script more fleshed out now let's go into this out so let's downsize the script again just for now I'll just drag and drop it onto the directional light and we'll hit play so as you can see our seconds counter is working let's just change the minutes to 59 here and we'll just increase the counter just so we can see it working quickly so minutes and as you can see, reset back to zero. We now have one hour. Let's increase the hours to 23 minutes 59. And we'll just bump up the seconds again. And we'll see if the day functions work in. And as you can see, we're now on day one. And they've both reset back to zero. And the seconds counter is still running. So we'll stop that there. So, we'll just clear the console of all the debug logs. So, all these four blocks are now working fine. And we'll have some more work to do. Um, at a later date, we will in, uh, you know, we'll input code that will uh, allow us to have a calendar function within this script but um, that may come later I may get some more code done down here first especially the void on GUI so we can get something um, what we can actually see working on screen and just to make things easier going forward but uh, I think we'll leave it here for this lesson I hope you enjoyed it I hope to see you next time and until then, as always, bye for now.